What's up everybody, this is Vance with Six String Country, and today we're taking a look at Why by Jason Aldean, written by Rodney Clawson, John Rich, and Vicky McGee. And yeah, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff going on in this song. For the electric parts, um, very crunchy, very fat, nice rock country uh, rhythm. Um, but then in the lead part, we've also got some really spacey, cool, delay-based uh, delay parts um, that I think will be a lot of fun to try to recreate at home. Uh, and the solo's got also got a cool tone going on. Uh, it's, none of it's particularly hard, I'd say. It's kind of in the intermediate zone for the electric stuff. Uh, the acoustic part is pretty straight up as well with the capo on the second fret. Um, somewhere, I, th I think that's probably in a beginner range. Uh, and yeah, I think you guys will have a lot of fun with it. Alright everybody, this is the acoustic lesson for Why by Jason Aldean. We're in the key of A with our capo on the second fret. And so first things first, we're going to check out the strumming pattern for most of the song. So in 4-4, four, four, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, or 1, 2, E, e and four and a one, two, E three, E and four and a. And we start on a normal G chord, G shape, third fret, open, open, two third frets on the top two strings, and then we go to our regular D shape, open D, first finger on the second fret of the G, third finger on the third fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the high E, same strumming pattern. And we go to A minor, open A string and open high E, second and third finger on the second frets of the D and G, first finger on the first finger, first fret of the B string. So normal B minor, right? And so that progression is kind of the progression that you'll use during the intros and the choruses. And so altogether that kind of sounds like, Sometimes in the choruses you'll go on that C there, which uh, that's a C with an added nine there. So you got second finger on the third fret of the A string, first finger on the second fret of the D, open G, uh, third finger on the third fret of the B string, and fourth finger on the third fret of the E. So that's that last chord of the progression there and sometimes it's a whole note, sometimes you go through the pattern. So that's intros and choruses. Try all of these parts to a click. So here's the intro slash chorus progression. One, two, three, four.
sometimes you'll have We got this lead line that kind of comes back in in the intro and then in the instrumentals in later parts of the song. Uh, and so the first bar, you're going to slide up kind of like a grace note with your third finger on the G string from the fourth fret up to the sixth fret. And then back to the first finger on the fourth fret, third finger back on the sixth fret, hammer on to the 7th fret with your pinky, and then back to the 6th fret. So it's all on the G string. And then we repeat that. Second bar, we slide down with our 3rd finger to the 2nd fret. Right? 3rd bar, we like repeat action. it again. So here's the chorus slow. 3, 4. And there you go. That's the chorus. Um, and all the choruses are the same, which is awesome. And then we get to verse 2, back with a little bit less drive. Uh, we're just basically just playing 4E and uh, on every bar, just with different chords. So we got our kind of a double bar chord here. First bar on the second fret with open A. On the uh, middle two strings, top two strings, got a pinky bar on the fifth fret. So 3, 4E and uh, Two, three, four, E, and uh, right? And then we go, and I'm just going to third finger on the 11th fret of the D string, first finger on the 10th, uh, excuse me, ninth fret of the G string, second finger on the 10th fret of the B string. So the whole solo is slow. One, two, three, four. And so there you go. We can try it to tempo. One, two, three, four. 